Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, we're talking about the Seattle Seahawks versus Washington Redskins Week 9 matchup based on analytics. Uh, each week, I collect all of the current 2017 NFL team data in order to analyze and project potential NFL performance. Since it's a weekly collection, there will always be some variation in terms of uh, various data points. However, there will always be little nuggets of truth that could become bigger nuggets of truth as the season continues. So stick around as I analyze each week's matchups based on analytics. And if you are new to the channel, uh, all terms and definitions will be in the description. Uh, so looking at this matchup between the Seattle Seahawks and the Washington Redskins. So when you look at the NFL stat basic comparisons, and NFL stat basic comparisons is looking at uh, how the offense is doing in terms of various team metrics, how the defense is doing, and of course how the special teams unit is doing between both these teams compared to the rest of the NFL. And the overall data, uh, you know, basically looking at everything combined, uh, favors the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, so let's get into some reasons why. So first off, the reason why the Seahawks are pretty decently favored uh, is because of turnover percentage. Uh, the, the, the Seahawks have a lot of issues, but turnovers are not one of them. Uh, one of the better teams in the, in the NFL when it comes to not uh, throwing, uh, you know, picks, fumbles, stuff like that. Um, and this has been an issue that the Redskins have had. They're below average right now uh, compared to every team since 1998. Uh, and because of that, I think that this is definitely going to be a factor that will maybe sway some things here and there because of that issue. Uh, then, of course, you look at sack percentage. Uh, so the ability to prevent sacks on offense surprisingly favors the Seahawks. Uh, I was very surprised about this. I do think the addition of Dwayne Brown from the Texans, I think, will also help this a bit as well. Uh, some of this has to do with just the offensive design and Russell Wilson, you know, when you have a mobile quarterback, you can kind of get away with not having the best offensive line ever in terms of tackles and stuff like that. It doesn't mean that you should get away with it <clears throat> because eventually you'll run into an issue. But I do think that it, it's something that the Seahawks, uh, you know, how they're playing right now, they're they're at least a little bit better than the Redskins in terms of preventing sex. And that's basic, the basic thing I want to get out there. Uh, but when it comes to offensive score percentage, the Redskins are actually better than the Seahawks in that respect. Uh, you know, b better ability to put up point, put points on the board in every single offensive drive versus the Seahawks, which has been a common criticism of this team this entire year, is that the offense just doesn't get it done. It's not a high-powered offense. The Seahawks have never really been a high-powered offense. Uh, for the most part. Uh, they've had some seasons where they were a little bit better, but most of the time it's been a very defensive heavy team with a very okay, if not mediocre type of offense. You know, no offense. But, and this seems to be the same type of season for them. Um, so in that respect, the Redskins are better when it comes to just the ability to put points in the board. Uh, but the Seahawks definitely do have things in their favor from a turnover perspective and from a preventing sacks perspective which brings us to the defensive side of the football where the Seahawks are better than the Redskins when it comes to preventing points from being put on the board uh, this is a large reason why the Seahawks are favored is because of that balance between their offense and their defense uh, pretty equal in terms of the offense's ability to put points on the board and the defense's ability to pre prevent points from being put on the board Whereas the Redskins defense is just down in the dumpster right now. 9.45 out of 100 uh, compared to every uh, defense since uh, 1998 when it comes to the ability to prevent points from being put on the board in every drive. And that's an issue. So uh, for that respect, the Seahawks will have success putting points on the board just because they're going up against the Redskins defense. And it is kind of sad because of how strong the Redskins started. And maybe they'll finish the season out better than how they've begun. Uh, but this Redskins defense is just not getting it done in terms of just being an average defense. That just is not the case uh, right now. Uh, but the Redskins do have one advantage in terms of sack percentage. Uh, better in terms of getting sacks. 88.35 uh, for the Redskins versus 55.12. But turnovers favors the Seahawks more. Uh, the Seahawks are much better in terms of creating turnovers uh, compared to the Redskins. So... Overall, the defense is better when you look at the various data points overall. Now when you get to some uh, micro matchups, so 
Uh, looking at uh, you know different downs and distance data, when you look at completion percentage, for example, uh, in, in different downs and distance, um, it mostly favors the Redskins in this respect on uh, first and second down situations. If not, maybe even saying that it is uh, maybe not equal per se, but definitely favors the Redskins in those particular you know situations and scenarios. So. Uh, I think that this is something that's going to stick a bit because of that factor. Uh, and then, of course, uh, when you look at the completion percentage data for the Redskins offense versus Seahawks defense, uh, pretty evenly matched uh, in this matchup uh, between first down, second down. Uh, third down situations do favor the Seahawks defense in that respect. Uh, but the Redskins do have a fairly good offense. Uh, the one down a distance they don't really do that well is third down. But I do think that this is something to kind of uh, praise and be respectful of, I guess, because of this uh, particular factor. And then, of course, get to rushing down. So this is the Seahawks rushing offense versus the Redskins rushing defense. Uh, in this respect, uh, the Redskins are favored here in terms of first down and, and uh, second down situations. And most of the success the Seahawks have with the run comes in third down situations, uh, particularly third and one to four um, situations is the is the down and distance where the, the Seahawks do the best so that is going to be a good matchup to kind of see what happens because of that uh, uh, particular down and distance uh, then of course when you look at rushing uh, situations for the Redskins offense versus Seahawks defense in terms of rushing downs uh, and in this respect uh, the uh, Seahawks are favored in terms of first down situations and third down situations uh, feel pretty good about this uh, in terms of the, the Redskins offense, in terms of the rushing offense, has not been that efficient. There's a million people to blame, uh, you know, not getting Chris Thompson enough stuff, uh, you know, in terms of touches, and you know, there's lots of factors to think about, but overall, uh, I would say that the Seahawks will have success stopping the run against the Redskins. Uh, then, of course, you look at passing down. So this is the Seahawks passing offense versus Redskins passing defense. In this respect, the Seahawks are actually favored here in terms of first down and third down situations. But I do think it will be somewhat close. You know, I think there will be some evenness when it comes to the second down and third down situations. I think it will be a little bit more competitive. But I do think that there is a pretty big advantage between the Seahawks and Redskins on first down. And then, of course, when you look at the Redskins passing offense versus Seahawks passing defense, in this respect, uh, the Seahawks are a little bit better in terms of first down situations and third down situations uh, when it comes to uh, stopping the Redskins. So uh, in that respect, again, it's it, it's sort of an issue where the Redskins offense is the best aspect of this team. You know, the Redskins offense is able to put up points, but this is going to be a game where the, the Seahawks will have success stopping them, or at least, you know, putting some pressure on them. Uh, so from that respect, I do think that this pretty much kind of continues the narrative of the Seahawks being favored in this game based on uh, the passing data in terms of uh, preventing first downs from happening on uh, first down and third down situations. And then, of course, you look at sack rate. So this is the Seahawks offense versus the Redskins defense. In this respect, the Redskins are kind of favored here in terms of first down situations and third down situations. I do think that there's a lot of areas where uh, the Redskins can get some sacks in those particular areas. Then, of course, you look at sack rate for the Redskins offense versus Seahawks defense. In that respect, uh, first and second down, Seahawks are favored here. Uh, so I think the Seahawks will have some success getting sacks, which is something that doesn't normally happen as often for them, especially in terms of crucial situations like third down. Then, of course, you look at interception ratio for the Seahawks offense versus Redskins defense. Uh, in this respect, the Seahawks are favored here in terms of second and third down situations. And then lastly, you look at the Redskins offense versus Seahawks defense when it comes to interceptions. And the Seahawks are favored here in terms of second down and third down situations. Which again continues the narrative that the Redskins just do not do really well in terms of third down situations. They don't uh, convert that much in third down situations. They typically throw more picks in third down situations. And it's just something that just compounds itself. Uh, and they also give up more sacks in third down situations as well. Um, for the uh, you know for the Redskins uh, you know uh, for, to a certain extent. So overall, my general thoughts in this game, uh, I think it's a Seahawks victory. 
Uh, I don't. I just see. I think the Seahawks defense is gonna have some success. I think they're gonna have a decent amount of success against this Redskins offense, and I think the Seahawks will be able to put up points against this Redskins defense because again, based on eight weeks worth of data, the Redskins have not had much luck preventing teams from putting points on the board overall. Uh, and as much as we can praise certain aspects of this defense, praise some guys in the front seven and. You know, we can do all, we can, we can, we can do tons of stuff to praise them, but they're not preventing points from being put on the board, which is the number one priority for defenses to do, is to prevent people from putting points on the board. Uh, so from that aspect, I just think the Seahawks offense will be able to have success, and I think the Seahawks defense will be able to uh, prevent the Redskins from being as productive on offense as they usually are, and ultimately, uh, you know, Seahawks victory. And of course... Uh, you can find my other work at draftcobra.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.